Well, hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome to a Chillin' Chat Friday lunchtime stream. I hope you're all doing good. Um, Gark says, um, Daisy and Skyrim in the same schedule? My dreams have come true. That's right. For now, uh, we're going to have Daisy with the viewer plus subscribers on a Wednesday lunch. Skyrim on a Friday is going to be coming up soon. And uh, the Minecraft with the viewer plus subscribers is going to be on a Thursday night to begin with. But then we'll see whether what happens with my single player series and how that works together. Because I only really want to be doing one lot of Minecraft, so we'll see. But hello to everybody who's watching on YouTube. Hello to everybody who's watching on Twitch. Hello to everybody on Facebook. And by everybody, I mean you, Frederick. And uh, hello to nobody watching on Steam. Nobody watches on Steam. Why would they watch on Steam? So today we're going to chill out, we're going to chat, and we're going to investigate and have a look at some of the things that, uh, some of the mods that have been suggested to me, and I keep meaning to have a look at them for OpenTTD, um, to see if it's worth introducing them into some of our games. So hello everybody and welcome. I've got a couple of notes. The first one here is that somebody said, first station GRF. So... Let's go over to OpenTTD and have a look at that. So, if I go check online content and actually paste in Furs Stations, the only thing I get is Chips Station Set. So, let's take a look at that. I'm going to tick that and download. And then we're going to go and um, just try and find it in this list. It looks like I already had the version 1 loaded, but let's apply that and have a look. People can do that. Watch on Steam. Yep. There was a set 1 and 2. That's right. I don't know why there was a set of 1 and 2, but let's let's find out and give it a go. Okay, so this is the station. Let's go. If we go to Electrified Railway and Stations, he ah, here we go. Chip Stations. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so there's all sorts of stuff going on here. So there is... These don't have descriptions, but it looks like we've got about four different... Oh! Okay, so let's unpause the game. Find a bit of flat land. So that's just like a blank station. It looks like it's automatically placing like assets and bits and bobs around it. That one looks much more passengery, and then there's some like, what I don't know what that is. <laughs> I have no idea. We've just put like bits and bobs on the side. So there's there's some interesting kind of there's some buildings that look quite industrial. There's some buildings that look a bit kind of almost commercial. But I mean, look, yeah, we're just getting various different pink things popping up there. We can have a selection of barracks, and you can actually do. Like a big, you can force a big crane and a little hut. I don't know what that bit of track is and how it's different to either of them. Jackamite says, I've never been able to find a Steam stream. There is a link on my website which takes you to my Steam streaming channel. Um, so let's have a look. Oh, yeah, this, oh, oh my goodness, look at that. There's, there's an overbridge thing. Um, and it looks like it's automatically added buffers to the end. Little tiny buffers. Okay, and some farm-like ones too. Cool, okay. So there's... The, oh, look, there they are. There's a label here, look. So we've got... Uh, you got asphalt. Asphalt dirty. Mud. Cobble. Concrete. And then passenger... Concourse, booking offices, parcel office, station hotels, dispatcher's office, parcel sheds, buildings and stuff. Um, harbour cranes. You've got more harbour cranes without the track going over. Uh, more huts. A food loader silo. We've even got some sheep pens and stuff. And cow pens. And pig pens too. And grain silos. Cool. I think we should integrate this into any of the uh, into our first let's plays. See how it's going. Yeah, we're just investigating, testing out. 
Um, first things first, we are looking at... Uh, no, wrong screen. We are looking at Chip Station Set 2. I think it's going to be a winner. Certainly looks like it. And from what I understand, if we look at the information... Oh my goodness. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Visit the web website. Special thanks. Copyright. Okay, so the readme is not going to be helpful. Uh, palette. Okay, let's go. Let's see what Visit website does. It takes you to the Open TTD forum. Okay, station tiles to match the FERS industries and to add a variety to default passenger stations. Slightly min minimalist. Cargo sprites for a wide range of cargoes, furs and more. Randomize, uh, it says greedable on some tiles, I'm not quite sure. We've got magic buffer stops, tiles for mine buildings, harbours, cranes, replaces default look of dock sprites. So in theory, if we have a look at the docks, Where's the docks? Build dock. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. The the dock looks different. So it's, it's a docky dock. Does it change anything else? It doesn't look like it. Um and in version two, apparently all the ground tiles have been revised to match industry first four. And um They've reorganized the tiles and remapped some of the building sprites. There's a big change log as well. Cool. I think we should use this. Looks interesting. What about the other one? Yeah, let's have a look at the other one. So let's abandon this game. And the other one I had on my list was the Industrial Stations Renewal mod. So if we check online content... So there's the ah uh, yeah industrial station industrial stations renewal raid and r road depots, and then there's this industrial stations renewal which we've got a version one for which I already have installed. So let's do settings. Uh, industrial station renewals. We'll add that one and take the chips one off. Apply the changes. And we'll have a little look. Remember vacuum mobs back in the day? Oh, I remember the original vacuum mobs. They weren't great. Okay, let's have a look at the stations and see what the situation is here. So we've obviously got the default station. Let's just remind ourselves what that looks like. Uh, we've got a bit of flatland. Yeah, over here. Let's make the trees completely invisible. There we go. So a standard station looks something like that. Then we've got stations. So there's the grain loading station. There is a livestock loading station. Grain silo station, apparently. Oh, wow, that's a huge one. Uh, minerals. Oh, I like these ones. What if we do a dual mineral? Oh, okay. Uh, mineral unloaders. That looks cool. Oil facilities. Hey Brandon, we're just checking out some mods. We've got wood loading and stuff like that. High security? That's interesting. I like that. Okay, so there's, well, there's actually loads here. Probably too many for us to check out in any detail all of them. Looks like depending on like the size of the station is like how many different bits and bobs you get. That's the steel mill one. You've got, obviously, the, the racks going backwards and forwards. Uh, there's a rubber loading. Is there just, like, a, a general paper, steel, rubber, fruit, fr freight? Yeah, so there's a general freight station. I like that. Okay. So, and then there's fixtures as well. So you can have, like, bits of platforms going up and going down. It can have a little hilly bit for some reason, bit of bit of parking area or whatever that is. Uh, there we go. 
That one doesn't seem to be... Uh, you can put that one in, but it doesn't need to be... Oh, it's road. Truck parking. And whatever that is. Bits of road and stuff. Wow, it's all sorts. Then you can add uh, crane segments. Shipping rigs, no tracks, gantries. Raw materials. Okay, so there's raw materials, which is farm buildings. Can't build railway station here. Why? Okay, because it's a specific... Now, let's cheat. Let's, let's cheat. We're only testing. There we go. We use the cheat commands. Okay, so that is a specific size of station. So they, these are certain... Oh, that one can be different sizes. So pig pens, pig yards. Mineral platforms. Wow. Okay, these are, these are even better than the other ones, in my opinion. Yeah, some cranes. Does this GRF have animations for when there's more goods, a.k.a. Uh, oh, to ship to the station? I would say almost certainly. I would, I would say almost certainly. We should probably test that, shouldn't we? Let's, um, let's test that. So let's find something simple, like coal. Have we got a coal? Yeah, coal to coke. Okay, so let's go... Platforms will do. We've obviously got processed products and facilities and and marshalling yards. Oh my goodness, there's so much. Okay, let's do raw materials and let's go in with what's that? That's a farm building. No, we want we want. Uh, here we go. A coal one. So we want. Let's have two tracks, five length here. Okay, so there's a standard one. And then I guess we want we want raw material like kind of a drop off station. What's that? Train loading chute. I'm at least ninety eight point three percent sure I'm not an open TTD dev. I, I'm I'm not an open TTD dev. Uh, I think. Yeah, was it in stations? And there was like a an a mineral unloading station. There we go. Now the only problem is is that I have nowhere where idea where this has got to go. So we will just put it in. Platform length five. Now let's connect that up. Get truck get a service going and see what happens. I would expect coal to build up. I would. But I'm not going to say that for sure. Okay, uh, let's get the train out. We'll have just a cheap steam train and some coal trucks. We are just picking up coal. So let's do a few. Go here, full load, go there. And we're going to tell it to just unload all. Now, what we need is... Uh, where does it go to? Let's do display chain. Coke oven. So if we go fund new industry, coke oven, fund, there we go, put it there. So whilst the cha train's there, I'm not going to expect to see anything at the station. So the um, it has animations of sorts, you see the goods loading and unloading. The sprites change at how much the sta is at the station. I think, I think that's this one. I think that's this one. Good old coal. Good old coal. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so now, in theory, when this train leaves, coal should start building up on the platform. No? Hang on a second, game. Let's see. So if we go to raw materials, and we go, what's this? Farm building. We did materials platforms, and there's, I'm not seeing anything there. Maybe we just need more tons of coal for that to show. So 
So if we do mineral pile, let's do building wide pause. So if we, yeah, look, if we add mineral piles, there's nothing there. And then I guess, oh, I didn't mean to do that. So this train now is going to drop off, I would presume. So let's unpause. Pause into the station. I don't think there's any animations on this station, even though it does look nice. We could just assume that it just drops straight down and there's some underground conveyor belts. And then what we're going to do is, on the way back, we're just going to stop the train. Good afternoon, Gecko. Welcome. Oh, yo, there you go. Look, it's building up. Oh, and there's an animation there as well. Oh, is there some cranes that we can add on? Uh, let's have a look. Uh, mineral, there's some trucks. And I don't know what that is, but... And then, what's this? Oil storage. With, no, there's, that's all oil. Let's try that. Yeah, what's this then? That's fruit, fruit platforms, cattle sheds, milk tanks. They've got all sorts. They have. And then they've got processed products for things like general cargo platforms. A forklift with crates. Look at this. Rigging and all sorts. Very. Oh my goodness, there's so many things to choose from. Is there a, like a, um, yeah, look, there's a crane. Overhead crane. Put that in on the platform. It's the wrong sort of platform, though. Uh, but it's interesting, anyway. Oh, my goodness, it is really building up now. We've got uh, 264 tons there now, and it is, it is building up. You can actually see how much is there. I mean, in theory, if we let our train go there and just speed it up a touch, you can see that a load just disappeared. And it's filling up and then going off again. Going up, going down. Going up, going down. Going up, going down. Very good. Very good indeed. I think this is probably the one for us. I think this is, um, what was it, the Industrial Stations Renewal Mod. Now, are we using any of these in our main series? I can't remember now. Let's have a look. And this is just set two. Oh, are there two separate sets? No, there's ver it's version 0 0.1. Yeah, passenger and freight, um, freight platforms. Yeah, it looks good. Let's go over now and load my Let's Play series. My Let's Play Season 6. And just have a look at what we've got in here. So for this series... We're using the open GRFs for trees, airports, and industries, landscape, and trains. We're using VAC trains and hover vehicles and trams. Uh, and we've got British station set, which is what we've got there. And for the British station set, which we haven't really used very much, there are all these platforms. The downside to these platforms is that these are passenger only. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was it was the Chris Station set. There was one too. I was more impressed with the Industrial Station set. Now someone says the game is still wrong. Yeah, it it might no. It, the game. What, what are you talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, let's look back in the chat. Nope, need more context. More context, please, on your message, on your, and then I might know what's going on. So, for me, I think I'd like to add that. What I might do is I might add it to my Season 6, um, retrospectively, and then I might also add it to my Season 9. 
I think season nine and season six, we definitely need to add that mod. Okay, so that's the winner for me. The other one's very good. It is the other one is very good, but I I just liked that one. It just seemed to be good. It just seemed to be really good for me. Okay, so we're going to add that to my series, and I'll sort that out sometime soon. Um, by the way, folks, keep an eye out on YouTube because we've got hellish news coming out. Um, we'll have we, will we have it during the charity stream? Um, I wasn't planning on having um, furs for the charity stream. I was going to have a base game, but again, we usually do. A oh, hellish news has already dropped. Oh, okay, my bad. Um, maybe we will put furs on with this with this set because it's been different. You've reminded me to watch the rest of season six. Yes. There is season six is still ongoing. It's still going good. Okay then, let's go back. Let's abandon that game. Let's go to check online content. There we go. Uh we're gonna have a look. Hmm. I mean there are a lot of things in here, and there's a lot that I get recommended to me. Uh, let me have a look down here. Website, video ideas. Right, so, yeah, somebody already said the industrial station renewers for Season 6. Um, cargo type feature. I'm not sure what that is. We've been doing Steel Town. Uh, ah, here we are. The fish, chip, uh, the fish ships set. Let's have a look at that. That's something that somebody wanted me to have a look at at some point. There it is. Uh, I already have it downloaded. So let's go and just remove them and add in... Uh, yeah, let's close this. How do I close that? Oh, we just click off. Add that in, apply the changes and start a new game. We'll have a look at that. The game is on just chatting and not open TTD. Yeah, um, I suppose I could have done open TTD for this one, but we're not playing open TTD today. It's not a let's play, it's not a tutorial, it's not a viewer's game. We are just chatting about the mod. So I guess I could have put... It, to me, it could have been in either. It could have been either. Um, but I see what you mean. I get you. Hello. I get you. Um, so let's have a look here at this mod. So if we go shipping, just pop one of them down, uh, and have a look. Okay. So it, it just adds a load of ships. I think. Yeah, it does. Steam engines. What we are, we're in 1980. So there's quite a lot of freighters. There's little tugs. Yeah, it, it, I like it, actually. I think we, what we need, right, folks, what we need is a mod, like, uh, a mod set that we use for, like, a standard game. And I think, like, industry renewal set for the stations is a good one for it. And the fish mod for the ships as well. I think is a good one. Like having hydrofoils. I mean, it costs a fortune, but it looks really good. Like, yeah, like a hellish mod pack. Um, I don't think you can do mod packs. You might be able to like get these mods and like re um, bring them in. Generic tram set. Yes, egg. Okay, let's do this. That's what we're going to do right now. We're going to build up a list of generic stuff. Now there is a tram set, and it is. Uh, is it generic tram set? I'm, I can't remember. I think it is. City tram set, generic tram set. There is there is a lot of tram stuff here. You can make a pack, can you? Okay. I would love to do that. We can do presets by the looks of it, so that'd be good. Generic tram set is more vanilla. I like the sound of that. Let's just go check online content and do trams just see what we can bring up on there so there is city tram set tram set. Uh, there is cs transset there's dutch ones there's light rail and modern metros there's all sorts 
there is. Look at all these different tram sets. Docklands, like a light railway sort of tram set. I think I would be um, generic tram set. I would I would add that because, like you say, it's more vanilla. And then the industrial stations renewal. Uh, not furs. We're not going to put furs in it. So industry stations renewal. We'll add that in. Uh, what else would you think? Sh oh, look, they've got sailing ships. I don't think that should be in there. Uh, right, okay, let's unfilter this. We've got landscapes. We've got... I've downloaded so many things over the years. British buses. You know what? I think the VAC... The VAC... Why is that like that? The VAC tube train set should be part of it, I think. If you make a pack, then click Save Preset. You might be able to export it somehow. Okay, let's do Save Preset. Um, hellish pack. Save. So it is just a preset. Maybe we can have a look at it somewhere else. The hot air balloon mod. I don't think the hot air balloon mod like adds enough. And then the hover buses. Um, there is hover vehicles and hover bus. And I'm pretty sure... Let's have a look. Um, when was this one last updated? It doesn't really say. Add six new high-speed levitating road vehicles. Graphics originally by this person, modified by that person, parameters not. Yeah, it's the hover vehicle set, isn't it? Now, for the VAC train set, I think, I'm not sure, but I think you have to have the VAC vehicles. But let's just do save this preset, apply. Really? I don't think first should be, yeah, first should probably be in the basic pack. I think first should be in this pack. So if we go new game and change it to like 2080 or something like that. Oh no, 2080. Then we should be able to just whack down our vac tube. Uh, yeah, they're there, look. So it looks like the vac vehicles are in there now. The open TTD dot config file contains the preset could share that. We'll have a look at that. I I think that the vac tube the vac train vehicles should be in there. So the vehicles are in the new vac pack. So if we go in here and have a look at vac train set, um, allows you to go lud ludicrous speeds at an exorbitant price. Um, yeah, and I, I'm not sure why there is a vacuum vehicle wagon thing. Um, matching trains to open TTD combined with maglev technology. Of, I, I'm not sure. There's there's no readme. There's no website. There's nothing on that one. Now, one of the things I was wondering about was whether we can have a progressive rail set. So the engine can run unpowered on the generation rail before it and run powered on its normal rail. So I don't quite get that. An engine can run on a generation rail before it. Hmm. I'm not really on board with that. Let's uh, get rid of that filter. I could share the config file, but the problem with the config file is there's so much more. I could actually do a script which would inject the preset. The only problem is, is that you would probably have to download them, maybe? I could, I could definitely do a script that would put... that would inject the preset, but I think you'd have to download them, I'm not sure. Uh, what else have we got? 
Uh, aircraft, there's plenty of aircraft. I think the one thing that the game, the game really lacks is obviously trams, because there isn't any trams. Um, we lack decent boats by default. I think there's enough trains, there's enough aircraft. Um, uh, so adding fish is important, adding trams is important. I think there's no late game, so adding vac train and hover buses again important. And I feel like the stations are all very passenger based, so it's really good for industrial sets. So I think the ones we've got here are really good. You could run a 24 7 server that forces you to download the mobs and people can join that. That is true. That is true. There must be ways of doing it, like with a script or something. Actually, we could just get a game save that's this. And then people can download the, the game save, maybe. Um, there are so many different things. Uh, we've got city stations, city objects. But I think we're getting beyond. What we want is, like, vanilla plus plus. Nightsight says, possibly off topic, but huge thank you for the tutorials. Coming back to the game after 15 years are invaluable. Especially around mods. Well, you're welcome. Um, I'm glad they were useful to you. Very much so. I'm sure there's a there's a we can work on the technical side of things um, afterwards, Jack and Matt, but uh, I'm I'm pretty sure that this is a good foundation for the hellish pack. I don't know if I'd include furs. I don't know if I'd include furs. I don't think we need like British buses and things like that. I can't really think of any other like content that I would say would be vanilla plus plus. Like you've obviously got your graphics packs, but that's different. And your music. When you play with um GRFs, you normally use British themed trains. Yeah, but that that's theming the game to your style. Like British having British cities and British roads and British trains is like theming the game to your style. What we're trying, which is which is cool, and I like to do that. But what we're trying to do here right now is kind of bulk out the vanilla experience with a few mods that just kind of city builder, not city builder. I don't think Jackamack because that just I'm not sure the script really is. I don't know. Maybe there are lots of cool scripts though. Game script libraries and, and height maps and all sorts. Oh my goodness, there is so much. Here we go. So there's bus sets, there's train sets. Um, let's just make this bigger. There we go. Let's also set that to be the default. Um, oops, I dropped my. I've got, I've got my lens cap in my hand for the camera. Um, it doesn't change the gameplay system. Maybe. Yeah, there's lots of really cool train sets, but it's not for what we're looking at at the minute. There's a the there are other mods. One is called pipes, which adds pipelines as tracks, road tiles, wired for electricity, which adds overhead power lines and substations. That sounds cool. Number seventeen. What's this base mod? Um. There is a oh, description. Add those pairwise. What? Bats. British Advanced Tram Set. Some of these are not very well described. Um, better Bridges. Okay. Corrected the... Um, Better bridges. There's just, just some bridges and stuff. Silicon bridges for very fast stuff. Short bridges. Yeah, okay. Vehicle names. Better world cities. Big train. Oh my goodness. A train that's very long, capable of faster than 10,000 miles per hour. That's crazy stuff. Bigger depots. Ooh, I like the same, uh, the, the sound of that. I mean, I'm not sure about bridge renewal, folks. I'd let me know what you think about bridge renewal. Um, but a larger train depot, original graphics, but I want to try this one. Bigger depots. Let's download that. 
let's go into here and add uh, big uh, train depots apply the changes and have a new game I mean we still got the vac stuff in but depots that oh <laughs> are they just literally looking a bit bigger oh I thought it would actually be like this sort of thing so they just take up the full tile instead of not which I guess if you want to do this sort of thing to make it look like a massive depot that would be cool actually I really like that because then you make you can make it look like the trains are actually going all the way and all the way out without them seeming like they're going into some sort of magic portal the bridge renewal set okay if yeah I, I think we're gonna keep the bigger depots in because like if we take the bigger depots out so let's abandon and remove that and go back into the game and try and do the same thing again this is what it looks uh, this is what it looks like see which is kind of fine it's kind of okay but if you want to make the depots look a lot better by stacking them next to each other, I think bigger depots... Yeah, bigger depots have just made it to the list. Keep it in. Yeah, I think until you look to the back at the comparison... Um, bigger train depots. There we go. Save the preset, Hellish pack. Uh, what was the other thing? It was the bridges, wasn't it? Oh, no, not game scripts. Bridges. Better Bridges. Better Bridges version 1.1. 1 .1. Okay, let's download Better Bridges. Um, and add it into the... Better Bridges. Better Bridges. Better Bridges parameters. Oh, hang on. Did I just download the wrong thing? Uh, let's see. Description, better bridges parameters. I think it's just a bad description. Let's add it in. Let's add that one in and have a look. There's one mod called Big Train, which is for all cargo types, but has a huge capacity. Yeah, we saw that, and I can see that it went ridiculously fast as well. Okay, so let's go with Electrified Railway. Let's do a bridge here. Okay, so this just looks like normal bridges, I think. That's a different bridge. The, the silicon bridge. I think that concrete bridge looks different as well. Let's just go in and have a... No, wrong thing. Um... Yeah, in here, better bridges, view the readme, oh my goodness. Um, okay, suspension and cantilever bridges available at half the distance, okay. Corrected speed and ratio of speeds and costs. Bridges base costs and ground leveling costs are raised. Similar properties for suspension bridges, okay. Short bridges. Uh, concrete and girder can be five tiles long, plus to the bridge heads, and the silicon bridge for very fast trains for vac tube, etc. Okay, so it it is just some basic little tweaks with one new bridge. Um, you think they should allow signals on bridges? I think they should allow signals on bridges and in tunnel tunnels too. Yeah, there's only one new bridge. I'm not sure that this mod, like, adds enough on top of the vanilla experience. 
And I'm not really sure... I mean... Like, you're playing around with the costs. Let's maybe have a look at another one. Let's maybe have a look at that one. Let's remove that one. So that's better bridge parameters. Yes, yeah, so it's playing around with the bridges more. And we don't really want to play around with the base game. We want to try and keep the base game as, as normal as possible. There is another one, Total Bridge Renewal. Okay, uh, let's have a look. Uh, what's this? VAC Train Set Ch Companion. Um, currently, the only function is to adjust the speed limits for bridges to include more... Okay, we won't bother with that. Uh, subway transit bridge speed for suspension bridges U and bridges what do you call it total bridge renewal set I'm not seeing that in the list here oh wait no it's right there in front of me uh, so there's a version 1.2 I've already got that So let's do total bridge renewal set, add, apply, and no, not load. New game. It's right there, says Jackamack. You are correct. It is right there. So if we put a bridge in, oh, look at this. Okay. So you get suspension bridges. Um, hang on a second. So if we do it by, yeah, we've ordered by maximum speed. So suspension bridges are the slowest. Oh, that's better. Viaduct, truss, girder. Oh, I, I like these bridges much more. Oh, these are worth it. And it, and they've also got the expansion for this fast stuff, like the suspension bridge. It it does up the speed. And there's no real lower one. And the prices are not too bad, actually. And then they've got the modern ones. I I think that's gotta be that's gotta be in the pack. Better bridges. Total bridge renewals, renewal set. Yeah, that that's in. That's made the set. Yeah, Jack likes it as well. So we're going to save that preset. Um, I think we've come up with a good list here. I think we have. Okay, folks. Well, um, the places where I thought OpenTTD kind of needed more was ships, industrial platforms for, for stations, um, trams, and future stuff like VAC train and hover vehicles. And the bigger train depot and the bridge renewal set was just a nice little addition in there. Um, so that's really good. I think this is a good pack. Um, I would love to bundle it up and, and just kind of like um, let other people play around with it. But I would like to have a little bit more in it. I feel like we're just all we want to do is just get open TTD and turn it up to 11. You know, I don't want to go nuts with it. I don't want to go completely crazy. But just make a few of these tweaks, and I think we can have a couple more tweaks as well. Thanks for the like. Thank you very much. Uh, I think that's a Facebook like as well, which we don't get as many Facebook people through here. So we are actually going to leave it there for now, folks. Um, it might be good for the charity stream. I think so, Egg. I think so. And then I guess all, you can then add furs into it if you want to or not. Um, I don't think aircraft need, like, more stuff. And I don't think the trains really need more. Apart from future trains, like the VacTube one. So, yeah. I think we're, that's going to be really good. Now, remember, folks, um, we've got my Open TTD Series 6 still going on 
uh, videos coming out on Saturdays. We've got my Open TTD Live Series 9 on Tuesday nights, and we've got our big charity Open TTD game on December the 18th. So I hope to see you all there. So uh, enjoy your videos from me over the weekend, and I will see you on Monday lunchtime for what might be one of our last Minecraft Monday live streams for a long time because we're moving things around. Check out Hellish News. The video came out today for updates on the channel, and I'll see you all soon, folks. Thanks for chatting, and thanks for your help, and we'll see you soon. Goodbye.